What is up you guys? It's Lydia here and for today's video I'm going to be taking you through a 60 minute full body strength workout. So we are in a different location today which is okay because we're still giving you a really solid workout. This is going to be a ton of fun working the whole body. You are going to need some dumbbells but besides that you don't really need anything else. Um, just some space and a willingness to work. So um, let's just dive into the warm up. I want you to start by just swinging your arms over your chest. Here we go. So as you swing open and close, you're going to feel opening, feel that in your chest, close, feel it in your upper back. Okay. Just breathe. I'm so excited for today's workout. It's going to be a good one. 60 minutes. It's definitely a little bit daunting, but we can do this. Okay. All right. Now I want you to step wide, side lunges. Opening up your hips, warming up your inner thighs. Great job. So for this workout, we're going to basically go through circuits. Um, and we're going to have a circuit for full body, and then we'll have legs, upper body, and abs. And that's it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Obviously, we're going to have 60 minutes total of work, but we are going to break it down so it's not terribly daunting. All right, now come into that lunge, tap down, reach, and switch. Tap your elbow down, reach, your back might pop. That's totally okay. Getting all the muscles warmed up, ready to go. Alrighty, now push into a down dog and we go seal. You can try to twist in that seal if you like. That feels really good for me. I always like to do that in the warm up, but whatever you feel works for you. Great job. Alrighty, come on up. Now let's just do some high kicks. So step, kick, touching your toe, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings, okay? And if you can't kick super high, that's okay. I just want you to kick as high as you can where you feel that stretch in your hamstrings, but never any pain. Great job, you got about five seconds left. Just breathe. Alrighty, now let's just do some knee hugs. Pull it in, another leg. Really wanted to give you a nice long warm up because we got a long workout today. We have plenty of time just for a warm up. Just take the time and get your muscles all nice and warm. Great job. Alrighty, so now finally I just want you to pull back on your forearms. Feel that stretch because we're going to work those a lot today while we we'll hold dumbbells. And for our first move today, we're going to have a deadlift to a row. So continue stretching out your forearms. This is what the move is going to look like. You're going to go deadlift, stay down, row, and then come up. So really working your glutes is you have to stay down here working your back on that row. Okay, so grab your dumbbells of choice. I'm doing my 15s. We go in 10 seconds. It's just coming down. So your dumbbells are right at your knees and then doing that row. All right, you ready? Let's go. Deadlift, row, stand and squeeze. Making sure that your back is flat the entire time. Do not arch your back. That is very, very unsafe. Hips are sticking back, knees slightly bent, big squeeze in that upper back. Great job. Bring those dumbbells up towards your waist. Pull the shoulder blades down your back. You got 15 seconds left. Stay strong. You're doing great. Yeah. This, and then we have another move, and we're gonna do that little mini circuit twice. Three, two, and one. Okay, next move we have sumo squat to front raise. Here, 
front raise, stand, okay? Grab your weight and go in five seconds. And we're gonna do these two moves, three rounds. Let's go. Stand. So holding that sumo squat the entire time that you lift your leg, you lift your arms. Lifting them just to shoulder height. Really good burner for your legs and your arms and your shoulders. Making sure there's no swinging on that front raise. You're doing amazing. You got 15 seconds left. Nice and low. Lift and lower. Five more seconds. Come on, guys. Stay strong and relax. All righty. Deadlift. Two, row, round two. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Great job. Keep those abs in tight. You're doing amazing. I know it's tough. You get right into the workout and you're like, man, this burns. Why'd you have to start so difficult, Lydia? But really working that body as you stand up squeeze you don't have to overextend but just come to neutral squeeze those glutes okay knees are slightly bent You're really putting a lot of weight in your heels and squeezing those glutes the entire time three two and one okay Sumo squat to front raise, round two. You can do this, this is a tough one. Front raises are not easy for me either. We can do this, let's go. Deep squat, lifting up sumo squats, just your legs are wider so that your toes can be facing forward or facing out, it's just a wider squat. Sitting down, lifting, and coming up, squeeze. Squeeze those glutes. You might feel this in your inner thighs if you have to stay down there and hold. <laughs> 15 seconds. Come on, guys. You're doing great. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, final round, everybody, of this circuit. <laughs> Starting us off strong, you're doing a great. We go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice squeeze of your upper back. You're taking the dumbbells, pulling them to your waist, squeezing your upper back, and then you stand, squeeze your glutes. And keep that, those abs in tight the entire time, really protecting your low back. Great job. Whew, this burn. Make sure if you can, on that row, you come down, you come up, squeeze. Try to hold it at the top, okay? 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. All righty. Yes, I'm a klutz. All right, round two, or move two, final round. Sumo, two, front raise. In three, two, one, let's go. Don't swing the dumbbells. It's such a temptation to come here, you know. But no, that is not what we're here to do. We're here to work our shoulders. So come down, no momentum. You come up, you lower down. If you can't do that with the weight you're at, it's okay, go down and wait. going guys. You have about 17 seconds left. Keep breathing. Stay strong for me. You're doing great. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Shake it out. 
Alright, so the next move we have is a glute bridge chest press and a tricep dip hold to a reverse plank. So, in a glute bridge, you're going to be squeezing up here the entire time, chest press as you do that. Next we have tricep dip hold for three, two, one, come up, reverse plank, walk it back, okay? Grab your chest press weights and we go in three, two, one, let's go. Come on back, push those hips up, and just a powerful chest press and lower. <laughs> Squeezing those glutes super hard at the top. Just coming down, tapping your elbows, squeezing up. Great job. Keep going. Squeeze those glutes. I know they can get tired. You have five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, next the body weight move, triceps, holding that tricep dip, that like 90 degree position for three seconds, three to five seconds, and then walk it out into a reverse plank. Alrighty, let's go. So come down, three, two, one, squeeze up, walk it out, squeeze those glutes, walk it back. Oh, this one's gonna burn. Oh, I can already feel it. My triceps are already like, no, this is not what I signed up for. Really holding that halfway position, squeezing, and then go into that reverse plank. Squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings, okay? You have 15 seconds left. Come on, guys, five more seconds. You can do this. And relax. That one's tough. Triceps get burnt out super fast on that one. Alrighty, grab your chest press weights. And we go in five seconds. Glute bridge, hold with the chest press. Let's go. Squeeze those glutes. I don't want to make, I want to make sure you're not just arching your back, but you're actually squeezing your glutes. So your belly button isn't trying to get towards the ceiling. Your glutes are trying to squeeze as hard as they can. That's the difference here. You want to make sure it's all about that squeeze of your glutes. We've got 20 seconds left. Strong chest press. Tap those elbows down around your ribs. Press up. Five more seconds. Come on. Oh, you got this. You can do this and relax. Okay, just breathe. Come on, guys. Round two, tricep dip to reverse plank. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hold for three, two, one. Push off. Squeeze those hips up. One thing I want to make sure you're not doing is you're here and then you walk it out and you're just chilling. No, your glutes are being pushed up, you're squeezing those glutes and hamstrings, and then you walk it in, okay? Whew. It hurts, those triceps are on fire. You can do this, you have 15 seconds left. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze your abs. Triceps are on fire for five, four, Three, two, and one. Alrighty, final round. Chest press, glute bridge. You can do this. If you want to go up and wait, if you have that available to you, go for it. And let's go. Oh, add that glute bridge. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Muscles are on fire. You can do this though. Strong. You're strong. You can do this. Fifteen seconds left. Squeeze those glutes harder. Don't push your 
belly button towards the ceiling, push your glutes towards the ceiling, and squeeze them. Squeeze them as hard as you can for three, two, and one. Whew, my good. Okay, final move of this circuit. You can do this. Three, two, one, let's go. Let's see if you can hold that reverse plank for a few seconds. So you're holding and squeezing so you really know that you have control. I always try to, as I walk out, you step it out and then you push up. So you step it out and then instead of just chilling here, you're squeezing up, okay? Making sure that you're constantly keeping that tension. You're not just getting lazy. 15 seconds left. Come on, guys. Chest is open. You're not scrunching in. Open chest. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Wow, alrighty. Shake it off. My arms are literally jello. Final move. Our final two moves of this like full body circuit. We're gonna do a three pulse curtsy lunge to a curl and press. So right here you're gonna go one, two, three, come, curl, press. So you can do hammer curl. Switch legs. Next we have plank leg lift to a one leg push up. So in a plank, lifting your leg, lifting your leg, keeping that leg up as you do the push up, okay? We go in three, two, one, starting with the curl press. Okay, you can do this. Three pulls come up, curl, press. Make sure on that curl, you're not scooping to get the dumbbell up, okay? It's just curl, keeping the elbows in, strong press up. You have 12 seconds left. Come on, guys. You can switch to a hammer curl if you like that better. Three, two, and one. Alrighty. Plank leg lifts to the push up. Okay. So it's a one leg push up, or you can do that push up on your knees or on both your feet if the one leg is a bit hard for you. Let's go. So leg lift, leg lift, keep that leg up, push up. And alternate legs. Whew, this one burns. After that chest press, my arms and my chest are just jello. <laughs> you got 15 seconds left. <sighs> Come on, guys, stay strong. Keep going. <sighs> Three, two, and one, relax. <sighs> wow, push-ups, they're always a tough one, right? <laughs> Okay, curl press to curtsy, round two. We go in three, two, one, let's go. So on that curtsy, I wanna make sure that you're not stepping out and then facing this way. It's like a lunge, a regular reverse lunge, but your foot is just going diagonal. So everything, your hips, your chest, everything still faces forward, but it's just the placement of your feet that's slightly different, okay? You'll really feel it in your front glute if you dig into that front heel. So dig this heel down and squeeze. Feel it in the glute, right? 10 seconds left. Arms are so dead right now. You can do this though. For three, two, and one. Okay, push-ups. Everybody's favorite, right? Definitely tough for me too, but we can do this. We go in five seconds. Alrighty, let's go. 
leg lift to the push up. So what I want to make sure you're doing first though is you're not just lifting your leg and going to the push up, you're first coming up squeezing that glutes, you're feeling that squeeze and then do the push up, okay? You got 15 seconds left. Hold and squeeze, push up, come down. Woo, this one's fair inside now. Three, two, and one. Grab a drink. You're doing amazing. Curl press, final round. If you can go up and wait, I encourage you to do so. And let's go. Three pulls. Come up. Curl. Press. Whew. I'm like, why did I go up? I don't know. I want to make sure, especially if you go up and wait, you're not scooping the dumbbell. It's still just a strong curl. 20 seconds. Come on, guys. You can do this. Get nice and low in your lunge. Big pull and big push. Five, four, three, two, and relax. We're done with the curl press. That's honestly not the move I hate, though. The move I hate is the push up, so. We're not done with the worst of it yet. Almost. In three, Two, one, let's go. Push ups. Leg lift. Push up. <laughs> one rep, and I'm already dead. Again, if you need to do this on your knees, on your knees, leg lift, come down, push up. Okay? Or if you need to just do it on your toes, but you like have to sleep with on both toes, it's right here. Leg lift, and then a push up. You can do it on both knees or both legs if you need to. We have 10 seconds left. Three, two, and one. Why? This is so painful. Alrighty guys, so now we go into our first set where we are just doing one muscle group. So we're starting with legs. So the first move we have, we'll have it's kind of the same format, two moves, three rounds, and we have two different kind of mini circuits like that. So first one we have is a, I like to call them moonwalking deadlift. You're basically gonna go deadlift, switch feet, deadlift, switch feet. So it's a one leg staggered deadlift and you're just going back. So it's like you're mean walking, you know? Kind of fun. And then the next move we have is a deadlift to a squat. Really, really basic, but a great one. Deadlift, come up, squat, okay? We go in 10 seconds, starting with the moonwalking one. So grab your dumbbells. So this is a staggered deadlift, one leg at a time. And three, two, one, let's go. So deadlift, switch legs. And once you get to the back of your mat, just walk back up, start all over. Feel that squeeze in your glutes. Come on guys, back is flat. Come down, squeeze to neutral, okay? 15 seconds left. lift that back leg for fun you can totally do that so be right here instead and relax great countdown right alrighty now we have squat or deadlift to squat so it's just right here deadlift bring the dumbbells up squat okay we go in five seconds three two and one let's go really 
great basic leg workout moves, but sometimes we need to come back to the basics, and they burn. The basics burn. Fifteen seconds left. Come on, guys. Keep going. I know it's tough. deadlifts. This is a fun move. I really like this move. Anybody else love this one? All right, let's go. We love it so much. We're going to do it. I want to make sure it's a staggered deadlift. So all the weight is in this leg. This leg is just there for balance. And like I said, if you want to lift that back leg, that's totally fine. It's just there. So you're not doing a regular two leg deadlift. It's just one leg coming down. That's all where the power is coming from. The other leg is just there for balance. You can take that leg out if you want. Seven seconds left. And relax. Okay. Sumo, not sumo. Deadlift to squat. I think this time I want to change it up. You can absolutely change it up. I'm going to do a sumo deadlift to a sumo squat. Change it up. Have some fun. Let's go. So if you want to do that, sumo, come up, and then a sumo squat. Absolutely do that. You're making sure on that sumo deadlift, your knees are bent, all the power is coming from your glutes. Fifteen seconds left. Nice and deep in your squat. Squeeze up. Abs are in tight. Back is flat. Three, two, and one. All right. Final round of moonwalking deadlifts. Make sure to drink. Shake it off if you need to. And let's go. Deadlift. One leg. Again, back is nice and flat. Abs are in tight. I know it burns. Burns for me too. You have 10 seconds left. Come on guys. And relax. Alrighty. My forearms and my fingers are getting really tired. But last round. I'm going to go up and wait for the deadlift to squat. And Let's go. Deadlift. Come up. Squat. Come on, guys. Push through. You're strong. I know sometimes we think, I'm not strong. I'm weak. My muscles are burning. But my muscles are burning too, and that doesn't make you weak. You realize that you're actually stronger because you're willing to push through your comfort zone. You have 12 seconds left. So come on guys, let's get stronger together. Don't stop. Come on. Three, two, and one. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. So now, roll the dumbbells away. Well, we still have dumbbells next round, but Next we have a curtsy lunge, squat to side lunge. So you're gonna be right here. Curtsy lunge, squat, side lunge. So 
first round we alternate, next two rounds we stay on one leg. And then we have a wall sit, so find a wall near you. We're just gonna hold it right here, okay? We go in 10 seconds, starting with the curtsy lunge, curtsy squat to side lunge, okay? Let's go. So, I'm gonna figure this out. Curtsy, squat, side lunge, switch legs. Switch to one dumbbell, so it just seems easier to hold. Come on guys, you have 15 seconds left. Come on, keep breathing, keep pushing and relax okay wall sit you can do this with the weight if you would like i'm not going to for the first round i might go add weight later but right now i'm going to stick weightless and let's go hold it here legs are at a 90 degree angle we just hold it do a little happy dance in your brain don't think about the pain just hold it you're doing amazing Got 30 seconds left. You're third of the way there. Come on, guys. You can do this. Legs are shaking. I know. 15 more seconds. Woo! It burns. You can do this, though. Come on, guys. Five more seconds. Keep holding it and relax my quads my poor quads they're on fire all right curtsy squat side lunge this time just stay on the same leg okay let's go so curtsy squat side lunge I'm getting real quiet because it's burning for me too. But you can do this. Fifteen seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Legs are on fire. All right, wall sit. You can do this. We're strong. All right, let's go. Wall sit. Come on and hold it. Just breathe. Just feel that tension. It's okay. It's making our muscles stronger. We like this. Like Lydia, I do not like this, but you're getting stronger. So just hold with me. You got 25 seconds left. You can do this. You are strong. Okay? You got this. Come on, guys. Keep holding it. 15 more seconds. I know. I'm feeling it with you. My legs are on fire, too. 10 more seconds. Come on. In and out. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Okay, last round, curtsy, squat, side lunge. We go in three, two, one. Remember to switch legs this time. My legs are so jello right now. Guys, after this though, we're done with our leg circuit. And then we're about halfway through the workout. You're doing amazing. Pace yourself, work hard. You can do this, you got 20 seconds left. Come on guys, I know it's burning for me too. 
five more seconds though. You got this. And relax. Okay guys, wall sit, final round. And then we're done with legs. We're so close. We go in three, two, one, let's hold it. Like, what's the weather like outside? Right now, I'm looking out the window, it's super rainy. <laughs> um, what's your weather like? Think about something else. You know, a lot of times, we're so focused on the pain, like, oh, I can't get away with this. Think about something else. Since you take your mind off of it, you realize it's actually a lot easier to get through it, okay? You only have about 12 seconds left. <laughs> you can do this. Start singing your favorite song in your head. You can do this. Three, two, one. One, and relax. My legs are chill. But it's okay because we're not using them anymore. Okay, so we're done with legs. We now have our upper body circuits. So the first, we have like two, like we had the legs, we have two different mini circuits in there. So we have back and biceps one first, and then we have a chest and triceps one. So first two moves are back flies and alternating curls, okay? So back fly. You're bent over here, squeeze up, lower down, and then alternating curls just right here, okay? We go in 10 seconds, starting with your back fly. And grab your weight of choice in three, two, one, let's go. Squeeze, feeling that squeeze in your upper back as you squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. And make sure that the weight goes back, it's not coming up, okay? You're pulling back towards your shoulder blades. You're not squeezing up, okay? Your shoulders do not come up to your ears the entire time. Make sure that your chest doesn't bob forward just to get the dumbbells higher. That doesn't do your back anything. So make sure your chest is staying in the same place. You're just lifting and lowering the dumbbells, okay? Five, four, come on guys. You can do this and relax. That one's a tough one. <laughs> All right, alternating curls. You can do um, regular curls or hammer curls, or we can change it up. Why don't we change it up? So I'm gonna start with supinated regular, and then I'll change it up as we go. But let's go, alternating curls. So the fun thing about workouts like this where you have three rounds of one move is that they're like with a curl there's a lot of ways to do it. So you could start with a supinated curl and go to a hammer curl and then finish with a pronated curl. You know, which I think is what I'm going to do just for funsies. But you can totally change it up and make it a lots of fun and it doesn't have to be boring. 15 seconds left. Keep that elbow in towards your waist the whole time. Curling up. Slow on the way down. Don't let the dumbbell fall. Three, two, and one. Woo. Alrighty, round two of back flies. You can do this. Come on guys, five seconds. Take a big breath and let's go. You're squeezing back and down, feeling that squeeze in your upper back. If you can't do this with control, if you can't do this without bobbing or swinging, just go down and wait. It's okay. It's not bad to go down and wait. What I don't want to see is you doing heavy weight with bad form. That's going to, first of all, it's dangerous. It can cause injury, but also it's, there's kind of no point. It's not working the muscle properly. Okay? So go down and wait. Work that muscle properly. You have 10 seconds left. I know it burns. It's okay to take a breath. Come right back for three, two, and one. Alrighty. <sighs> curls. I'm gonna do hammer curls this round. You can stick to supinated or whatever else you want to do if you'd like. We go in three, two, and one. Let's go. Curls. Amazing. You just 
stretch it out, that's fine. We have 20 seconds left, okay? Five, come on guys, you can do this. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right guys, come on, open that, those biceps and chest out. All right, back fly in five seconds. Final round of back fly. We can do this. Let's go. It's our final round. So really push here. You're almost there. And then we just have chest and triceps, and then we have abs to finish us off. We are so nearly there. Keep going, guys. seconds left. Great job. You can do this. Three, two, and one. Alrighty. Finally, curls. If you want to, for funsies, I'm going to do this. We're going to do um, pronated curls. So regular curls, your hands are up. Pronated curls, your hands are facing down. So you're curling like this. Okay? Just changing it up, having fun. Let's go. So it feels a little bit odd, a little bit different. But it's just like you're doing a regular curl, but your palm is just facing down, okay? So the your uh, elbows are still tucked into your sides. And if you have to go down and wait, that's okay. At the end. When your muscles are really tired, don't push yourself to where you injure something. If you're pushing yourself, you're feeling good, that's okay, but if you need to go down and wait, that is fine. Okay? Three, two, and one. Relax. Shake it out, grab a drink. Now we just have chest and triceps left. So, for our first chest move, we're going to do dead stop push-ups. I'm going to do these on my knees. Like, I've, I can try to do one on my toes, but a dead stop push-up is where you're in a push-up position. You drop down so your chest touches the ground. You can lift your hands off the ground if you'd like. Just everything is on the ground. And then come up. It's harder than a regular push-up, okay? So, we have those, and then we have tricep kickbacks. So, grabbing... 10s, 15s, kickbacks right here, okay? We go in 10 seconds, starting with your dead stop push-ups. These will burn, I promise you. I'll try a couple on my toes, but more than likely I'm dropping down to my knees. And let's go. So your chest is coming all the way to the ground. You're lifting your hands up and then coming all the way up. One thing I wanna make sure you're not doing is you come down here and then you peel up like this, that's not what we want to see. It's coming down on your knees or on your toes. It's a stiff board coming up, okay? Keep going, guys. I know you can do this. You know, you always should push yourself because I was like, I can't do it on my toes. Yet, I'm doing it on my toes. And I think oftentimes we underestimate ourselves. So don't confine yourself to a limit and relax, relax, oh. sorry for that terrible countdown, but just don't like limit yourself to being like, oh, I can only do this, try to push yourself, and when I did, I realized I could do them all on my toes, all right, let's go, tricep kickbacks, grab your 10s, your 15s, that's kind of the weight I normally use, or whatever weight works for you, you know, if you have to go down, go up, don't listen to me. You know your body. But you're just going from 90 degrees to straight. Feeling that squeeze. And don't just go through the motions. You want to make sure you're actively squeezing and using those muscles. 15 seconds left. This one burns, I know. You can do this. Squeeze and come back. And relax. 
Okay, dead stop push-ups. I think that's lovely about this circuit is that in push-ups you use your triceps and your chest. So we're getting a double whammy for your triceps. <laughs> but you can stick to a wide push-up if you want to work your chest more. But let's go. Dead stop push-ups. And if you're doing these on your knees, make sure you're not falling, or you're doing it on your knees or your toes, you're not falling, and then this little like painful come up. Everything is controlled. And if you can only come up on your toes or on your knees, I encourage you to go down on your neck toes and then come up on your knees. Really great training for if you're trying to get your push up, working on that control going down. 15 seconds left. Come on, guys, keep going. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. <laughs> Try some kickbacks. Come on. Come on up if you can. Go up and wait. Do so. I'm not going to because I'm kind of dead. But let's go. Try some kickbacks. Squeeze and hold at the top. This one burns. <laughs> I mean, they all burn. Like, what am I talking about? But triceps are one of those muscle groups that seems like they just burn out really, really fast. <laughs> they don't have any endurance for me at all. But that's okay. That's why we work at them. Fifteen seconds left. Come on, guys. You can do this. Five, four, come on, keep going. Give me three, two, and one. Okay. Final round, dead stop push-ups. Guys, we're so nearly there to the end. Look, we have dead stop push-ups, one more round of tricep kickbacks, and then it's just abs. Okay, let's go, dead stop push-ups. I encourage you to try to go down on your toes if you can. And try a few coming up on your toes. Just try, just try three coming up on your toes. And if you fail, that's okay. Just drop down to your knees. But you might find that you're actually stronger than you think, okay? Come on guys, 12 or uh, 15 seconds left. more seconds. Push your chest. Come on and relax. Push your body is what I meant to say. And I thought of chest muscles and yeah. Anyways, <laughs> tricep kickbacks. Final round of our upper body circuit and then we're done. Let's go. Come to 90 degrees to straight and feel that squeeze. You don't have to come up here and do something weird with your wrist, you know? It's just your tricep squeezing. So really focus on that tricep. Feel that squeeze, that contraction, that straightening of your arm. You have strong triceps. You can do this. You have 15 seconds left. Come on, guys. guys five more seconds keep pushing three two and relax okay guys we now only have abs left and then we're done just keep breathing grab a drink okay so for this one we're not going to do the same format as we did for the other ones we have um, I think six moves and we're just gonna go through six moves, no repeat, and then we're done, okay? So this circuit will probably go by a lot faster, but first move we have is side plank dips. So in a side plank, you're dipping down, coming up, okay? Then we do the other side next, all righty? Let's go. Come on up, dip down, squeeze up. You can do this, you have strong obliques. It's here for 45 seconds. <laughs> My arms are still sore, so this is definitely a tough one, but we can do this. 
Come on, guys. 20 seconds left. Get that hip high. Squeeze that oblique. 10 seconds left. Come on, guys. Keep pushing. Three, two, and relax. All right, flip it on over. We do the other side next. Great job, guys. After this, we have a starfish crunch, which I'll show you what that is in a second. But let's go. Side plank hip dips. Down. Squeeze up. Burn that burn in your obliques. You can do this, though. Anyone else? Yeah, it's okay. You have about 15 seconds left. Keep going. You're doing great. Dip and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, starfish crunch. Laying on your back, hands and legs out. You're coming up, crunching lowering down. And this is also like a single leg jackknife. There's a bunch of names for it, but we go in three, two, one, let's go. So crunching up, coming down. You can do this. I know it's tough. You're coming up, tapping your toe, lowering down. If you need a modification, just come up to a crunch so you're not fully coming up into that sit-up, okay? Keep breathing, you have 15 seconds left. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next we have elevated flutters. Sitting in a position like this, Feet are here, you flutter, okay? And after that we have elevated bicycles. Same position, bicycle crunches. All right, let's go. Flutter kicks. Hold here and flutter. And the lower your legs are, the harder it's gonna be. And so if you need to lift them up a little bit higher, that's okay. Doing amazing, guys. Five, not five, sorry, 20 seconds. Sorry, that was terrible of me. 15 seconds left, come on, guys. Three, two, and one. Okay, stay in the same position. We have bicycles right here, okay? After this, we have in outs. This position, like this. All right. That's after the bicycles. All right. Let's go, bicycles. Getting those abs super squeezed in. If you let them relax, your hip flexors are going to start hurting. And you don't want to work those. You're working your abs. So squeeze those abs in. You can do this. Belly button is squeezed in towards your spine, really bracing your abs. 20 seconds left. Come on guys, keep going. I know these bicycles are tough. Five, come on guys. Three, two, and one. Alrighty, in outs are next. So just bring your legs out, crunching in, okay? In the seated position. Alrighty, are you ready? Let's go. Out, crunch in. This one burns. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make sure that your abs are really tucked in, because if you're letting your abs relax, you're gonna start to feel it in your hip flexors. You don't wanna feel it in your hip flexors. 
We're not working those, we're working our abs. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Come on, guys. So we're nearly done with this workout. We have two minutes, two work, two exercises after this, and then we're done. You are so nearly there. Three, two, and one. Okay. Second to last move is Russian twist. You can do this. Heels can be on the ground or lifted. Three, two, one, let's go. You just tap, tap, feeling that squeeze in your abs. Again, if you relax your abs, your hip flexors are gonna start hurting. And if you need that modification, heels can be on the ground. push yourself. All right, switch that pigeon pose on the other side. 
I just want to remind you guys that if you're feeling like, oh, I'm a beginner, I don't think I can do that, just try it. And if you can't do it, that's okay. You're not a failure. You pushed yourself and you should be proud of that. And if you didn't get it, that's okay. Keep working at those modifications. You will get there eventually. Alrighty. Pulling that back leg. Feel that stretch in your quad. My upper body definitely got tired in this workout. Upper body, lower body, abs, everything was burned up after this. But now it's your time to relax. into a little crisscross applesauce position. Grab onto your knees and pull your chest off or your upper back the opposite direction. You're gonna feel a really good opening uh, between your shoulder blades, just that upper back area. It feels so good. We work our upper back, the back flies, the rows. And this is also just like a really good stretch in general when your upper back is feeling tight. Really, really good one. Exhale, go a little bit deeper. Alrighty, now come up. I want you to put your hands behind you and scoot your fingers out and feel a big opening and stretch in your chest and your biceps. Push forward. Feels so good. My chest and biceps, like, well, with the push-ups and the curls, there's a lot of curls, and my biceps were starting to really give out at the end. So this is so good. Another one of these, another one of those stretches that's just really good. Anytime you're feeling sore, pop down, do this one. Alrighty, finally, come on up. I just want to do a little forward fold. So come to the center and reach forward. And just chill here. Relax, sway back and forth for the last few seconds. Feeling that stretch. Like I said, if you would like a longer stretching routine, I will leave one on the screen. Just relax. Alrighty. Slowly come on up. Guys, that is it for your full body 60 minute strength workout. I am so proud of you for finishing this workout. It was not easy by any means, but I feel strong. We accomplished it together. Congratulations, high fives to everyone out there. I am so proud of you guys. We finished. We proved to ourselves that no, we're not weak. We are strong enough to push ourselves out of those comfort zones, to push forward doing 60 minutes of workout. Like, you are not weak by any means if you completed this. Whether you modified, whether you had to go down a weight, whether you had to rest in between a move and you're just like, I have to breathe for a second, it's okay. We all do it. And the point is, is just to keep coming back, keep working, to prove to yourself that you are strong enough. All right, guys, I'm so proud of you for finishing today's workout. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post workouts on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and I will see you next time for another awesome workout. Bye guys.